Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya, and in today's video, we are going to be uncovering the well-kept secret known to a lot of ancient masters and men who are able to find relation to the most powerful energy of all, which is your sexual energy, which is the most depleted energy within men is the very energetic that creates purpose, drive, mastery, and the ability to move when necessary. And let me tell you, if you're on your back every night, masturbating to a screen, you have better things to do as a man than to settle for that crap. I'm not going to be the one to tell you that it's okay because it's really not okay. I've gotten to a point in my life talking to a lot of men, addressing these subjects where this is not okay. And I'm not going to be the one to pat you on the back and tell you that this journey is going to be easy because it's not. Do you know why it's not? Because perhaps you have years and years of programming to overcome to face and this is why semen retention is truly allowing you to see yourself in a new way so you can be mentioned in truth to yourself so let's get into it y'all the benefits for men on this journey it's not all uh you know rainbows and shining skin and female attraction, whatever. Sometimes the bene the true benefits are is seeing what lies underneath an urge. What lies in the shadow of yourself? For that is usually what is calling you onto these websites to begin with. It's an urge that you don't have control over. You do not have control over it because you give up immediately when it comes online. You take a step back. You engage in it with your energy, your energy of awareness that moves you to the very sites that deplete your soul. Now, this is why these sites are free. However, they're really not because you pay with your energetic the energetic that in return gets depleted. Not only that, but your energy also gets interwoven into the very quilt of men being used by their very own power. Ooh, you know how much power you guys have within? Do you know uh, your ancestors fought wars? And your living here in a modern day society and finding comfort where uncomfortability lies. You're only finding comfort within your very despair because you have these very sites to depend on. Why are you depending on your depletion? Why are you settling in this life when you are a man, when you have strength, you have power, you have the energy of warriors behind you? And you're blocking them off by you feeling too much in fulfilling yo. You're fulfilling your other head's agenda. And it's because you're allowing it. All right? You're allowing it. And I see a lot within the semen retention community, a lot of focus on overcoming the thirst traps, you know, the, the, the corn sites, all of these free expressions for you to lust over, uh, over-sexualize yourself. Where in your life do you over-sexualize women when there is not even any sexuality within the very imagery of a woman. When you see a woman, what's the first thing you think of? Now, I'm not dumb. I know that you as men are programmed to want to procreate. 
So your sexual urges can become a nuisance when you're not willing to be the very leader of your own life. When you allow urges to lead your life, you will get yourself involved with women, with pleasures that will never leave you feeling fulfilled. You even getting to experience joy for pleasure is the shadow aspect of joy. It keeps you behind in life. And listen to me now. If you're not where you want to be, you have no time to be sitting on your back, pulling your pud every night. And um, with all this energy you're kind of releasing out, imagine if you retained it. Imagine if you actually respected it. Imagine if you actually had discernment upon who you give your energy to. What type of women do you even allow into your circle, into your spiritual circle? You would not allow corn stars in your vicinity. The vicinity of a clean mind? No way. For that will become murky waters for you not to see a very magnificent reflection upon a clear mind. For if you have murky water, you will see dark. You won't be able to see your own God self-reflection. So to clear your water, to hold it with sacredness, so you actually get to see yourself in truth is profound. So empty out the very streams that are creating disease in the body. I said dis-ease, but don't get, but that also sounds like disease. For the more dis-ease you feel within the body, the more prone to disease you will be within the future. You must deal with where your depletion stems from. And I know you know where it stems from. For a man, the most depleted men of all are the ones who are controlled by their sexual energy. For if a man has zero control over his desires, his urges, his lust, he will always be controlled by an outer source. And a man controlled by an outer source will be always weakened by the very agenda upon what they are doing to men in today's reality. Why do you think sexuality is everywhere? Why do you think the over-sexualization of a woman's body is everywhere? Because <laughs> we know, as human beings, you're prone to fall into the traps. But now that you know about these traps, you must gain the awareness to break free, to move forward onto the path of your highest good. And the more you retain your semen, the more that you actually respect yourself and create positive patterns that will actually reflect back to you the change you have made. And the change that you have made will be reflected onto new women, perhaps, new habits, new people, new opportunities, new visions. But if your visions are clogged with the very visions that you see upon a screen, your brain will be wired to see everything as something for you to deplete your energy towards. Not even women. The more weakened you are by your sexual energy, the more weakened and the more fragile you will be in the outside world the more fractured you become because you are now identified to a version of yourself that is not confident, that has no drive because you're solidifying that belief every time you go onto these sites, every time that you sleep with a woman that has zero respect for you. For if a woman sleeps with you without having respect for you, you are giving away your power to her to feel good and empowered because in order for a woman to enter the bedroom with a man, there is an exchange. And what is the exchange? It's up to you and why you go into the bedroom with another person. If it's because of boredom and loneliness, the very impacts after that experience will be depletion because you will not be rewarded by spirit within an uplifting energy when you're going into that interaction with a means to an end. Within the sexual energy, there is no end. There's only expansion. So when you come into it within an uplifted way, 
within an uplifted spirit, you will be uplifted even more into the frequency and the caliber that your body can recognize. But if you have not met the source of your very own reservoir of infinite potential, you will see where you are weakening yourself in the after effects through the state of mind that follows. So be aware. It is your responsibility to change your life for the better. No one's coming to save you. And to master your urges, to master yourself as a man in the mind is crucial for you to succeed upon this planet today. There is a spiritual warfare going on and it's using man's sexuality, woman's sexuality as the weapon, as the weapon that is stabbing ourselves in the back. There's nowhere to turn. The only place to turn is within and within has the answers you are looking for. Use your awareness to see where you are depleting yourself on the daily and within the energy you're so easily giving away. What if you retained it and retained it until you see new perspectives appear, new gains, new ways of thinking and new people you are attracting that are coming from the very energetic you are emitting. And the more you retain, the more high frequency and the more you will be recalibrating into your true state of honor, sacredness and sovereignty. I'm on this path with you. I encourage you guys. I'm motivating you guys and you guys are kings. You guys are kings and the king is cautious upon who he allows into his castle. Stop allowing anyone just inside. Have discernment. Create self-discipline. It is for your betterment. You will thank me later when you see how much progress will occur spiritually, physically in your life. I love you guys and I hope this video encouraged you and I will see you in my next one. Bye.